and welcome to another video. Alright, so I've kept my inner rage in for too long. <laughs> Everyone knows Joe Rogan is bold, but not bold enough, Joe! I've been watching this god for absolute years, which is why I'm about to stick pins in my eyes because I can't believe what I'm seeing. So for everyone that doesn't know, Joe Rogan and his podcast is my Yorkshire pudding to my roast. He sits in his man cave and gets high while talking to guests. That's all it is. It's so ideal. He isn't a news source. He's legit a comedian. So anyone taking facts serious? You should just jog on. You're too deluded. But, but, but guess who is deluded? Oh, just Spotify. Yeah, Spotify. Why is every single service I use making absolute cock rings of themselves recently? What, have I got a one sub from Spotify as well now? You know, the world has lost it. Joe Rogan signed a hundred million dollar deal with Spotify. Joe himself said that nothing would change. He is still in control of the podcast. But then, no, but no, that's not stopped. <laughs> Spotify's employees from kicking off now has it. Report, employees threaten strike if Spotify doesn't censor Joe Rogan. Get ready for this shocker, boys and girls. Spotify employees were demanding direct editorial oversight over the recently acquired Joe Rogan Experience podcast that would include the ability to directly edit or remove sections of upcoming interviews or block the uploading of episodes deemed problematic. The employees also demanded the ability to add trigger warnings, corrections and references to fact-checked articles on topics discussed by Rogues in the course of his multi-hour discussions. I mean, whoever these employees are, Guys, you're in the wrong career. Why in the heavens would you take away something that made the podcast so successful? Oh, what? Oh, just because you don't like it? Well, i got news for you. We don't need another popular show being babyized. Again, I've just made that word up, by the way. That's quite good. So literally, do one. I am so sick and tired of this. For reals. They need to be fired. CEO, listen. You're better off without them. Don't need this woke nonsense in here. Because if you don't, then that, you know, that hundred million that you just spent, yeah, that's all for nothing. You know what you bought, so why would you change it, dude? Are you stupid or deluded or maybe both? Not gonna lie, these, uh, these Spotify employees, whoever they are, your IQ must be so low. It's embarrassing, guys. Ruining the rep for Spotify completely. I'm sorry, but whining and bitching and going on strike because you want your own way? Are you actually five years old? What is going on here? What? is going on here ha <laughs> ceo of spotify you got these muffins working for you ha <laughs> wow some of the group's demands have already been met by spotify management though a refusal to allow further changes is stirring talk of high profile walkout or strike according to the preliminary plans shared with digital music news the strike would principally involve the new york based spotify employees and will be accompanied by protests outside spotify's manhattan headquarters other aspects would involve media appearances and coordination with other activist organizations haha <laughs> no one cares this is so dumb it was successful how it was whoa really Whoa, no way. <laughs> Why are you trying to turn something into something that it wasn't in the first place? It's not successful for them reasons though, is it? Are you guys tits? I don't get what they're doing here, guys. I don't know. You know what? Go on strike. Literally, all the stunts you employees have pulled. Literally, no one cares. Strike all you like, mate. Run around naked, I still wouldn't care. You're all gabbages to me. Great first impression, guys. Smashed it. But because of this, Joe Rogan was forced to apologise. Joe Rogan apologises for spreading misinformation. When has he ever done this? I can't even remember. I laughed through the whole thing. I'm not even going to lie to you. I could just tell by Joe's face. He just wasn't having any of it either. Hello, everybody. I need to make an apology and a retraction. Um, I said something on the podcast with Douglas Murray about people getting arrested for uh, lighting fires. And... Uh, I got duped. It's wrong. Uh, there was a, one guy who got arrested for lighting fires somewhere else, and someone sent me something about people getting arrested for lighting fires in Portland. And I said it without looking into it. It's very irresponsible. Um, I just I didn't check. 
I made a mistake. I fucked up. And uh, I'm sorry if I duped you as well. Um, there's nothing I can do about it now. It's out there. But it's definitely a mistake. My apologies. And I will take this into consideration certainly when I uh, say things in the future. I know it feels very irresponsible of me. I don't take it lightly. I'm very upset with myself. And uh, I apologize to you as well. Sorry. Again, it's not a news source. All these people are funniers, man. This is a joke. How they got my man, Joe Rogues, apologising for something no one actually cares about. Because, you know, his viewers don't watch him for facts. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is a contradiction from Mr. Joe. If you're a viewer of his, then you know his view on apologising anyway. <laughs> Which is why a lot of people are speculating that Spotify has pushed him to do this apology in the first place. And you know what? I ain't even surprised. And that brings us to this article. <laughs> Joe Rogan is already a headache for Spotify. All right then, what's this saying? But the move also prompted immediate questions about whether Spotify was prepared for what the media phenomenon brings with it. Sure, the Joe Rogan experience commands an exceptionally large following and, and a growing currency of cultural influence. Clearly, Spotify weren't ready. You've seen their employees, yeah? Oof. <laughs> Spotify ain't gonna go anywhere with them, let me tell ya. But Rogan's radical free speech orientation and free thinking ideology has consistently courted controversy in the past. In particular, observers were curious to see how Spotify would navigate issues around misinformation and hate speech. The latter being a concept that Rogan himself has a history of actively actively interrogating in terms of its relationship with free speech. Misinformation and hate speech? Are you okay? You know this you know this word, hate speech, is getting more and more vague because tons of people in this world don't know how to use it correctly, which inevitably leads to censorship. And I don't stand with censorship in the slightest. What's the point having a mouth then? What's the point having a voice if you can't use it? Do you know what I mean? Don't catch me with that shit. Joe Rogues is a comedian. Oh, sorry, you don't get his humour? Oh, there must be hate speech then. Forget that's a thing in 2020. Oh, peak. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Slip this in here now. R.I.P. to Alex Jones. Probably never going to see him on the podcast again. Since you know Spotify removed them all. That's why you got to search it you. out. Because Joe's real, I'm real, you're real. Whether we're perfect or not, it matter. We want to be real. Everyone should human, human intelligence, support this podcast and InfoWars and the Joe Rogan experience and make this dominant, which it already is, just to say, listen, bitches, you may force feed Eddie Bravo a bunch of CNN Fox News shit every morning, but you're fucking getting the Joe Rogan experience up your fucking ass. Whoa, Holy Jesus shit. Christ. That was Amazing. Amen to that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please take care. I'll see you in the next one in a bit.